The Niger Delta is the delta of the Niger River sitting directly on the Gulf of Guinea on the Atlantic Ocean in Nigeria. It is typically considered to be located within nine coastal southern Nigerian states, which include, all six states from the south-south geopolitical zone, one state Ando from southwest geopolitical zone and two states Abia and Imo from southeast geopolitical zone. Of all the states that the region covers, only Cross River is not an oil-producing state. Niger Delta is a very densely populated region sometimes called the Oil Rivers because it was once a major producer of palm oil. The area was the British Oil Rivers Protectorate from 1885 until 1893, when it was expanded and became the Niger Coast Protectorate. The Delta is a petroleum-rich region, and has been the centre of international controversy over pollution. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Niger Delta, as now defined officially by the Nigerian government, extends over about 70,000 square kilometers (27,000 square miles) and makes up 7.5% of Nigeria's land mass. Historically and cartographically, it consists of present-day Bielsa, Delta, and Rivers states. In 2000, however, Abasanjo S regime included Abia, Akwa Ibom, Cross River State, Edo, Imo, and Ondo states in the region. Some 31 million people of more than 40 ethnic groups including the Bani, Efik, Esen, Ibibio, Igbo, Anang, Yoruba, Oran, Ija, Iquair, Abua, Odul, Itsekiri, Isoko, Yorhobo, Yukuani, Kalabari, Okrika and Agoni, are among the inhabitants of the political Niger Delta, speaking about 250 different dialects. The Niger Delta, and the South-South Geopolitical Zone which contains six of the states in Niger Delta are two different entities. The Niger Delta separates the Bight of Benin from the Bight of Bani within the larger Gulf of Guinea. History Colonial period the area was the British Oil Rivers Protectorate from 1885 until 1893, when it was expanded and became the Niger Coast Protectorate. The core Niger Delta later became a part of the eastern region of Nigeria, which came into being in 1951 one of the three regions, and later one of the four regions. The majority of the people were those from the colonial Calabar and Ogoha divisions, the present-day Ogoha, Anang, Ibibio, Oran, Efik, and Ija peoples. The National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon NCNC was the ruling political party of the region. The NCNC later became the National Convention of Nigerian Citizens, after Western Cameroon decided to separate from Nigeria. The ruling party of Eastern Nigeria did not seek to preclude the separation and even encouraged it. The then eastern region had the third, fourth and fifth largest indigenous ethnic groups in the country including Igbo, Efik Ibibio and Ija. In 1953, the old eastern region had a major crisis due to the expulsion of Professor Io Ida from office by the majority Igbo tribe of the old eastern region. Ida, an ethic man from Calabar, was one of the pioneer nationalists for Nigerian independence. The minorities in the region, the Ibibio, Anang, Efik, Ija and Ogoha, were situated along the southeastern coast and in the Delta region and demanded a state of their own, the Calabar Ogoha Rivers Corps state. The struggle for the creation of the core state continued and was a major issue concerning the status of minorities in Nigeria during debates in Europe on Nigerian independence. As a result of this crisis, Professor Io Ida left the NCNC to form a new political party called the National Independence Party which was one of the five Nigerian political parties represented at the conferences on Nigerian constitution and independence. Post-colonial period In 1961, another major crisis occurred when the then eastern region of Nigeria allowed present-day southwestern Cameroon to separate from Nigeria from the region of what is now Akwa Ibom and Cross River states through a plebiscite while the leadership of the then northern region took the necessary steps to keep northwestern Cameroon in Nigeria, in present-day Adamawa and Taraba states. The aftermath of the 1961 plebiscite has led to a dispute between Cameroon and Nigeria over the small territory of Bakasi. 
A new phase of the struggle saw the declaration of an independent Niger Delta Republic by Isaac Adaka Boro during Nigerian President Ironside's administration, just before the Nigerian Civil War. Also just before the Nigerian Civil War, southeastern state of Nigeria was created also known as southeastern Nigeria or coastal southeastern Nigeria, which had the colonial Calabar Division, and colonial Ogoha Division. Rivers State was also created. Southeastern state and river state became two states for the minorities of the old eastern region, and the majority Igbo of the old eastern region had a state called East Central State. Southeastern state was renamed Cross River State and was later split into Cross River State and Aqua Ibom State. Rivers State was later divided into Rivers State and Bielsa State. Topic: <inaudible> Nigerian Civil War. Topic: The people of the eastern region suffered heavily and sustained many deaths during the 1967 to 1970 Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, in which the eastern region declared an independent state named Biafra that was eventually defeated, thereby preserving the sovereignty and indivisibility of the Nigerian state, which led to the loss of many souls. Topic: Nonviolent resistance. Topic. During the next phase of resistance in the Niger Delta, local communities demanded environmental and social justice from the federal government, with Ken Saro WIWA as the lead figure for this phase of the struggle. Cohesive oil protests became most pronounced in 1990 with the publication of the Agoni Bill of Rights. The indigents protested against the lack of economic development, e.g. schools and hospitals, in the region, despite all the oil wealth created. They also complained about environmental pollution and destruction of their land and rivers by foreign oil companies. Ken Saro WIWA and other oil activists from Movement for the Survival of the Agoni People were arrested and killed under Sani Abaka in 1995. Although protests have never been as strong as they were under Saro WIWA, there is still an oil reform movement based on peaceful protests today. Recent armed conflict Topic. Unfortunately, the struggle got out of control, and the present phase has become militant. When long-held concerns about loss of control over resources to the oil companies were voiced by the Ijaw people in the Kayama Declaration in 1998, the Nigerian government sent troops to occupy the Bielsa and Delta states. Soldiers opened fire with rifles, machine guns, and tear gas, killing at least three protesters and arresting 25 more. Since then, local indigenous activity against commercial oil refineries and pipelines in the region have increased in frequency and militancy. Recently, foreign employees of Shell, the primary corporation operating in the region, were taken hostage by outraged local people. Such activities have also resulted in greater governmental intervention in the area, and the mobilization of the Nigerian Army and State Security Service into the region, resulting in violence and human rights abuses. In April, 2006, a bomb exploded near an oil refinery in the Niger Delta region, a warning against Chinese expansion in the region. Men stated, we wish to warn the Chinese government and its oil companies to steer well clear of the Niger Delta. The Chinese government, by investing in stolen crude, places its citizens in our line of fire. Government and private initiatives to develop the Niger Delta region have been introduced recently. These include the Niger Delta Development Commission (NDDC), a government initiative, and the Development Initiative (Devon), a community development non-governmental organization (NGO) based in Port Harcourt in the Niger Delta. UZ and UZ Transnational, a company with strong commitment to the Niger Delta, has introduced ways of developing the poor in the Niger Delta, especially in Rivers State. In September 2008, MEND released a statement proclaiming that their militants had launched an oil war throughout the Niger Delta against both, pipelines and oil production facilities, and the Nigerian soldiers that protect them. Both MEND and the Nigerian government claim to have inflicted heavy casualties on one another. In August 2009, the Nigerian government granted amnesty to the militants. Many militants subsequently surrendered their weapons in exchange for a presidential pardon, rehabilitation program, and education. Topic subregions topic topic Western Niger Delta topic Western Niger Delta consists of the western section of the coastal South South Nigeria, which includes Delta, and the southernmost parts of Edo, and Ondo states. 
The western or northern Niger Delta is an heterogeneous society with several ethnic groups including the Yorhobo, Isoko, Itsekiri, Ija or Izon and Yukuani groups in Delta State, the Bani, Esen, Auchi, Asako, Oral, Agara and Afinmai in Edo State, and the Yoruba Alahe in Ondo State. Their livelihoods are primarily based on fishing and farming. History has it that the western Niger was controlled by chiefs of the four primary ethnic groups the Itsekiri, Isoko, Ija and Yorhobo with whom the British government had to sign separate treaties of protection in their formation of protectorates that later became southern Nigeria. Topic Central Niger Delta Topic Central Niger Delta consists of the central section of the coastal south-south Nigeria which includes Bielsa and Rivers states. The central Niger Delta region has the Ija including the Nembe Brass, Ogbia, Kalabari people, Abani of Opobo and Bani, Abua, Okrika, Angani and Andoni clans, the Agoni, and the Igbo Ech, Ogba, Ikwer, Andani, Ekpai and Endoki in Rivers State. Topic Eastern Niger Delta Topic Eastern Niger Delta consists of Abia State, Imo State, Cross River State and Aqua Ibom State. Topic Nigerian oil Topic Nigeria has become West Africa's biggest producer of petroleum. Some 2 million barrels cubic meters a day are extracted in the Niger Delta. It is estimated that 38 billion barrels of crude oil still reside under the Delta as of early 2012. The first oil operations in the region began in the 1950s and were undertaken by multinational corporations, which provided Nigeria with necessary technological and financial resources to extract oil. Since 1975, the region has accounted for more than 75% of Nigeria's export earnings. Together oil and natural gas extraction comprise 97% of Nigeria's foreign exchange revenues. Much of the natural gas extracted in oil wells in the delta is immediately burned, or flared, into the air at a rate of approximately 70 million cubic meters per day. This is equivalent to 41% of African natural gas consumption, and forms the largest single source of greenhouse gas emissions on the planet. In 2003, about 99% of excess gas was flared in the Niger Delta, although this value has fallen to 11% in 2010. See also gas flaring volumes. The biggest gas flaring company is the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited, a joint venture that is majority owned by the Nigerian government. In Nigeria, despite regulations introduced 20 years ago to outlaw the practice, most associated gas is flared, causing local pollution and contributing to climate change. The environmental devastation associated with the industry and the lack of distribution of oil wealth have been the source and or key aggravating factors of numerous environmental movements and inter-ethnic conflicts in the region, including recent guerrilla activity by the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta MEND. In September 2012 Eland Oil and Gas purchased a 45% interest in OML40, with its partner Starcrest Energy Nigeria Limited, from the Shell Group. They intend to recommission the existing infrastructure and restart existing wells to recommence production at an initial gross rate of 2,500 BOPD with a target to grow gross production to 50,000 BOPD within four years. Topic oil revenue derivation Topic Oil revenue allocation has been the subject of much contention well before Nigeria gained its independence. Allocations have varied from as much as 50%, owing to the First Republic's high degree of regional autonomy, and as low as 10% during the military dictatorship. This is the table below. Asterisk state allocations are based on five criteria, equality equal shares per state, population, social development, land mass, and revenue generation. Asterisk asterisk the derivation formula refers to the percentage of the revenue oil producing states retain from taxes on oil and other natural resources produced in the state. World Bank Report Topic Media Topic The documentary film Sweet Crude, which premiered April 2009 at the Full Frame Documentary Film Festival, tells the story of Nigeria's Niger Delta. Topic environmental issues Topic The effects of oil in the fragile Niger Delta communities and environment have been enormous. Local indigenous people have seen little if any improvement in their standard of living while suffering serious damage to their natural environment. According to Nigerian federal government figures, there were more than 7,000 oil spills between 1970 and 2000. It has been estimated that a cleanup of the region, including full restoration of swamps, creeks, fishing grounds and mangroves, could take 25 years. 
Topic see also topic topic references topic topic source topic Niger Delta Archive of News, Interviews, Articles, Analysis from 1999 to Present Proceedings of the Ibibio Union 1928-1937. Edited by Monday Efong Noah. Modern Business Press Limited, UYO. Your Hobo Historical Society, the 4th of August 2003. Your Hobo Historical Society responds to Itsekiri claims on Wari City and Western Niger Deltha. Nigeria's agony dwarfs the Gulf oil spill. The U.S. and Europe ignore it. Topic external links Topic National Geographic Magazine, Curse of the Black Gold, Hope and Betrayal on the Niger Delta, February 2007 issue. Niger Delta Forum. Com, Forum on the Niger Delta and its people. Niger Delta Development Commission, Niger Delta, A Brief History American Association for the Advancement of Science, Niger Delta Environmental Rights Action News on the Niger Delta <laughs>